Salvete Spectatores, it's Master Post. Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. So, we are here in this temple of Eothas, facing the Skulder King and three of his normal companions. They're in this chamber. I am too weak now because I don't want to use a rest. I think I will come back to him later. So what now remains is to discover the rest of the dungeon and then maybe get back out again. So mm -hmm. let's see if there is anything else we can discover. Uh-huh, there's something. Okay. What do we have here? Three bells hang from the stone protrusion that runs along this wall. Years of dust and grime coat the metal. There is one large bell at the center, flanked by two smaller ones. Okay, let's examine the bells. The bells appear to be fully intact. They're made of a thick iron and look very heavy. There doesn't appear to be much out of the ordinary about them. Hmm. I guess we have to ring them in some order. So let's ring maybe first the two small ones and the big one. The bell tolls a high, piercing note of startling power. The tone echoes merrily through the halls, until it seems that a dozen chirping notes ring through the temple. The bell sounds a strange, warbling peal that grows to painful shrillness before it diminishes to a mournful chime. You heave the bell, and as it swings back in the other direction, the clapper strikes a low, powerful note against the heavy iron. You feel the ringing in your chest as the sound moves through the ruined halls in a rolling tide. Um. You reach out to hold the clapper still. Around you the echoes diminish. So I'm not sure I did what I could. Difficulty 10. So what's this? Mechanics now unlock it. I'll have it in no time. Okay, so this is a much too difficult lock, I presume. Maybe if we do the bells in the right order, this will open. But for now, I'm not sure I can do anything. And actually, for now, I don't have any idea how to behave with these bells. There should be some kind of hint. Right. So let's check the map. We came in here and these two areas we have already checked. And up there as well. So let's go back there once more. Okay, I think there the part uh, the thing ended the whole dungeon. There's nothing to be gained. Okay. Interesting, here's something. Copper Pant and Dunrid Row. Okay, once again you read it. I fast forward. And I read it off screen, because it's too long so. Okay, let's do the sector after one. That's quite a lot of text. It reminds me of The Witcher 3. Because there also you could read whole books. And the last one. Okay. So let's collect the stuff. Uh huh, there's something more. Another book. Once again, read it out. Barbed Ravager, Winged Wind Winding Serpent. I wonder what that's all about. Leviathan. Paul Povier. Okay. Nothing else there. Maybe I missed something over here. Yep, indeed. Another book. Adar Customs. Uh, 
Carnival of the Mask, Sweet Treat, Winter's End. Interesting. Okay, nothing to be there. So there is the small chamber over here. And there, these two directions we haven't completely explored. Let's go back there. It is a new recording session, I'm sorry, so I'm not com fully up to date. You know more than me because you, I guess, watched the last episode just about one day ago, maybe. I don't know. So let's first, um, let's check this one first with the carpet. I'm gonna save because I'm low on health. Will o wisp spirit, immune to disease, ground, hobbled, poisoned, prone, sick and stuck. Okay, I have two campfires, so there's that. And I can also sneak, I guess. Hey, maybe with this guy. Laying low. Scouting, so I can check out the area. There is nothing to be clicked or explored. Uh-oh. Spirit. The nearby crystals light the cracked mosaic floor in shades of orange, and at certain angles the metallic symbol beneath your feet gleams gold. As you look on, the air shimmers, as if with summer heat. The very dust and air seem to pull together until a thin glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you sometimes think you can see the shape of a man, features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. So this guy is not really there. So I don't think striking out is the best option. <laughs> Who are you? Your voice sparks movement. The spirit surges with a sudden blazing light. And in the next movement, a moment, you're somewhere else, your mind assailed with a sudden wave of fear and noise. You're in the chapter, chapter hall. Priests and faithful have gathered in a great crowd, spilling into the hall. Bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Your own grief is mirrored in the faces around you. Some of the initiates are weeping. Someone has snuffed the candles, and the room is dark, save for the podium, lit from behind. Two people stand before it, lit in a silhouette. A man is shouting, voice so ragged with fear you can't understand what he says. But the rectrix stands calm, unmoved. Her strength will see you all through these dark times. You feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. The spirit tears itself from you, tears itself with you from with sudden dizzying force and you find yourself back before the ruined altar, swaying. The spirit fades, as suddenly as it appeared. So maybe we just witnessed a vision from the past, where this temple was sacked? I'm not sure. The face of this statue has had most of its features struck off, along with portions of its hands. Interesting. Okay, so what was that? There was something. The red brown smears flake away under the toe of your boot. Mm, probably blood. Yeah. So before I engage the will o' wisp, which is definitely hostile, I may want to rest. Because this guy can't stand cannot uh, fight for long, I'm pretty sure. Um, damage reduction, heal multiplier, move speed, I don't think that's so good. Accuracy bonus versus, so maybe it's a, a spirit, I'm not sure. Or consumable duration. Move speed. Let's do the healing received. Here do the 
damage reduction and here we have to do it. Ah, let's do something else. Damage to flanked, I'm not sure. Because this is one enemy, I'm pretty sure I can flank it. Camping supplies, two out of two. So let's rest and have a look at a nice fire in the wilderness somewhere, of course. Thing is, I only ever have two, which is not much, and now I have only one more. So I think mm. it's a good strategy to hey. yeah. shoot first, hey. because the reload time is horrible on these weapons, yeah. but they are very strong. Uh. Then I'm gonna just blast with uh, magic bullets here, mm. while the two change weapons and engage in melee. So let's look uh, if this is a viable strategy. Sure. Okay. So I'm gonna pause the game. These two guys just make a one shot each. And you do your... Hmm. What's this? Why can't I use it? Combat only. Creates duplicates of the cast to distract enemies, granting a high deflection bonus which is reduced with each hit taken. Okay. Let's do this one first. Mm. Oh, there are more than one. Okay. Holy shit! There are... Uh Definitely ranged units. So let's do a knockdown over there. And you knock down over here. No, no. Uh, wait, what? Did he. What the hell happened? Yeah. Okay. So. I think. No! Shit! What's going on there? So this guy died, apparently. Uh, I think he's enemy controlled or something like that. Get in the big hits. You do a barrage. What's this actually? Crucible of the soul. Gaining endurance in the process. Let's do this. Okay, you have one more knockdown. So, is he in my control again? Crap. Yeah, he is. Okay, good. I don't know what that was. Okay, uh, he has yeah. to go out of there. Shit, I'm blocked. Holy crap. That's not good. He has been, uh, I don't know what's, what that's called. They're always, I don't know, let's have a look if, confused, I think it's confused. That's not good. They have this yellow outline so they cannot <laughs> fight properly. Okay, he's unconfused again. Hey. Okay, shooting is not very strong. Attack this guy. Why is the reload time on this guy so long? You... are nearly dead and still not under my control. Okay, this one died. This fight is... I, either I am very stupid or this fight is super difficult. But I think I'll make it. <laughs> Come on. Okay, he's not... Uh, Hi? ...located anymore. Yeah. Wow, okay. I didn't lose much health, that's good. But his stamina, or endurance it's called, is nearly gone. He has much less endurance than the other two. 
So there's that. Yeah. Let's loot what they these guys dropped. Spirit residue, faint ethereal wisps of soul energy made manifest. Right. Uh, so the third, there were there were three willows, right? So the third one didn't drop the thing. I'm gonna save again. I don't know if this was a good fight. I think I managed all right because nobody got hurt too much. What the hell was this? Is there anything else in this chamber? Doesn't look like it. So this guy just disappeared. And here we can look for something. This parchment is worn and tattered, and the ink upon it faded. In this time of hardship, must have just as much faith in ourselves. Interesting. Uh. So, not really much to be gained. Alright, so now... I think I have discovered every everything apart from this door and the Skulder King. I'm not sure... Now I'm much better off. Maybe I can try face it again. There, there it was the entrance. I think I'm gonna save and I wanna try it one more time. Every time I tried it I failed horribly. So all my regen is up there. Ooh, that's only once per rest. Okay, I, I wasted that one. Hey. The, the first crossbow hit is super powerful, yes. so I want to do that. These guys I can use uh, during combat every time. These guys I can only use once per rest. So ideally what you want to do, you want to block this entrance with the two guys in the front, I shall. position the archer here back and assist just with ranged attacks. So maybe I could put the crossbow on him and if he has no fire mm. left, I don't know. Hey. Let's position you there. So save once more. I'm sorry that my safe's coming, but I don't want to replay all this stuff all the mm. time. And Let's go. just... So, this guy has been heavily depleted. I want to try if it makes sense to put the crossbow on this guy. Ah, in combat we can change it. Okay. It's fair, I guess. The problem is the school that the king comes on board very quickly. And he's quite strong. So, let's get uh, this one going and then attack this guy. And I'm gonna do a knockdown okay. on the school to the king as well. He will get uh, a barrage okay. over here. Sweet, I got a knockdown on the school to the king. So, in uh, get him for getting good. Once he gets up, instantly another knockdown. I can do this one more time. Good. Now I can use this. Allows the wizard to smash an enemy with a grimoire energized with spiritual energy. For this, I think he has to go in melee, so that's not an option. Creates duplicates of the caster to distract enemies. I'm gonna use that at some point. Creates a lance of pure necrotic energy. So let's do it on the school to the king. Good. Get another knockdown going on the king. Didn't work. You do this, you have to do your regen. I have this apparently one more time. Could also do the duplicate. Good, I got an... Uh, okay, they, this, this was a stupid idea. It doesn't do... It only works if there is um, an enemy engaged with him. I can use this four times. Do the Grimoire Slam. Yeah, okay, with, with this he has to engage. Did he die? Sweet! Okay, this is the first time I managed to kill him, actually. That's really, really good. 
Um, knock down on the other school leader. Okay, this should be a uh, piece of cake now. You do a knockdown on this one. You do a knockdown on this one. And yeah. you just don't use your magic abilities. Okay, I have no more knockdown. Hi? Sweet! I did it without losing much. That's good. In interesting. Huh. Something appeared here. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. The hell? A haze fills the air, coalescing steadily into a blur of dust and mist. It gathers into the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, a shimmering echo that fades in and out of sight. But stronger than sight is the sense, within you, of a powerful energy. It roils and seethes with a grief that seems to spill into our own thoughts, into your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Like a crashing wave, the energy surges towards you, uh, towards and into you, and suddenly you are elsewhere. Before you is a brightly lit stone corridor, lined with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running, your footsteps echoing off the stone ground around you. You forgot to tie your sandals and they're slipping from your feet, fouling your steps. You're late again. The ride's going to begin without you. You hear the tolling of a bell, and your spirits lift as you recognize the familiar, warped tone of the right hand, representing the first of the dawn stars to appear in the night sky, and last to fade into the dawn light. You pray fiercely that this is the first of the chimes, and not the last. The lights fade, as does the memory, and when your eyes clear, the spirits are gone. Okay, so we have another um, back tracking of my mind. I'm not sure what this feature is that I have here, but I'm just gaining insight into regular activities of certain members of this underground temple. It's interesting because um, the, the Eothas god is a god of light and fire, or probably more light and stars. And then why is the temple underground? Because before this certain war, they were not really pursued or suppressed. So probably the school little king has something special for hey. us. Huh? Let's have a look what the king has to offer. What? Only an ear? Aha! Here's something. Copper band and agate. I'm right. sure they will be useful later on for certain crafting things. A powerful odor of spices rises from one of these dishes. Vibrant dyes and grains, see, grain seeds fill the others. So there's nothing more to be gained in this room. Nope. Huh. So I guess we're done. I thank you all for watching for this episode. I will see you in the next one where we leave the temple. See you soon.